mosaic. I've got NGC 7000 on the left here and the Pelican on the right, and these are both H-alpha images. Um, a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm going to stretch the brightness of both of them and then put them together to build uh, a mosaic. So, let's see. Since I got two images here and I want to stretch them pretty much the same, at least initially, uh, I'm going to use digital development and check the to all images box and get the stretch going. And uh, try to stretch them so that, uh, so that they match as best as possible. You may need to do some adjustment after it's built into a mosaic. Uh, well, that doesn't look bad. Maybe I'll stop with uh, maybe a little darker there. I'm looking at this region, and that uh, pretty much shows a lot of the detail there in the darkest area. Over here, to get it to match this side, it looks like this is a little overstretched. So I'm going to turn off to all, and then I'm going to click the uh, pelican and maybe not stretch it quite as much or maybe reduce the background a little to get it to match the, uh, the left side image. And I'm just doing this visually at the moment. Just putting the two together at this point, that looks fairly reasonable. Okay, let's build a mosaic and then if there's any difference between these two, we'll uh, adjust that after the mosaic's built. Uh, I'm going to use Edit Mosaic Setup. And uh, I'm just going to use the standard size here, 325, 488. And that comes because each of these images are 325 by 488. So uh, I'll just press OK. And then maybe I'll reduce the size of that a little. And then all I want to do is take this first image and copy it into the mosaic. So I'll check the Select Image to Copy. And then just left click on the first image and it just plops it over there. Okay. Now to get the second image in, this one, I'm going to take this star, which is really the same as this one, and uh, I'm going to check the select image box. I'm going to left click and hold the mouse down and bring it over to the mosaic image and release it as best I can close to that star. Now, I can never get it exact, but uh, that's okay because that's what these are for. See, the current component is this one. And that's what the, the star beside the pelican is telling you. And that means I can use these arrow buttons. If you watch up here, you can see how that star moves in the to the upper right. I can use these arrow buttons to move the current component or the pelican dot fit this image around. Um, so I'm going the wrong way. So let's click this back down and then maybe straight down to get them to line up as best we can. And then I'm going to check down in here. Uh, let's see. I think that might be about the best. But see, I've got some rotation here. And let's go ahead and fix that now. Uh, I'm going to work with this image. I'm going to get my rotator tool out. I'm not sure if that's a word or not. I don't think it is. I'll select with mouse. And then I'm going to click on this star because that's the one but I lined up over here and I'm trying to rotate everything this image about that star to get it to match down here. Uh, I think, uh, well I'm not sure if I go clockwise or counterclockwise, but I'm always going to apply this geometric rotate to this image 
So I'm going to lock geometric rotate to it. And you do that by making this image the current image that's uh, highlighted and then click uh, lock image. And then every time I press apply here, it'll always go to this image no matter which one is, is actually highlighted at the moment. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's rotate. Uh, I went counterclockwise. Now I, I switched this counterclockwise a little bit to rebuild the mosaic. Just press apply. Uh, and that looks pretty good. Uh, I think it might be a little too far though. So instead of going uh, counterclockwise a full degree, I'm going to go counterclockwise maybe 0.8 press apply. See that comes back over to this one always because I'm uh, my rotates locked to that image and then if I press apply to update this well it looks like that did a pretty nice job down here of fixing the uh, the rotation difference. Uh, okay let's put this away. I think we're done with rotation. I've got a bit of a, uh, a brightness contrast difference here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Levels tool, if I can find it, and uh, again, I'm always going to apply it to this image, so I'm going to lock it, and then I'm going to go to the Midtone, and I'm going to make that a little darker. Then I'll press Apply to update it and see how that changed that edge a little more. A little bit of an edge left there. Uh, Try it one more time, a little less, maybe a little more. Again, because levels is locked to this image right here, this one can be highlighted, and then I press apply, it always goes back to the one that it's locked to. Uh, okay, let's update the mosaic. Oh, there might be a slight edge there, so I'll just back it off a little more and uh, press apply. Now the, the match looks really very good to me. Okay, let's put this away. Uh, gee, the only other thing I can think of is, is that our mosaic image isn't big enough. I mean, we copied this one on top of, the, of, of this uh, NGC 7000, but we didn't make the mosaic image big enough. So I guess the last thing we want to do is come up here to the uh, image size and I want to add uh, oh, let's say 300 pixels to the right size. Now I got that 300 because the Pelican image here is 325, it's 300 pixels wide and there's some overlap so that should be should be plenty. In fact we should have some black on the right in the mosaic when we get done. Oops, applied it to the wrong one, but that's okay. See here, I've got image size applied to the pelican, and I didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is delete that command. Now I'm back to where I was with this one, except it changed my zoom a little bit. Now I'm back to where I was. I want to apply the uh, size change to the mosaic. Okay, now the mosaic's bigger, but to repaint it and to pick up the rest of the pelican, that's where you press the apply button. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much how you do a mosaic. You can, f uh, if you want, uh, it's probably best not to flatten this until you're sure you're done, but you can use the uh, copy, uh, copy and crop option here to... Uh, pull out just maybe a portion of it that you might want and that would be your finished mosaic. You could apply some levels and curves to that then to maybe bring out the uh, contrast a little more.